Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a buy it or pass it for you guys. Uh, this is where I go over some of the new releases and we just kind of discuss them and see if they are worth the purchase or if I'm just going to pass them over. I did go look at the Trim Mood Instagram page. This is where I get all my info from. She has like all of the latest of new releases on her page and yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Also, I just want to note that I am actually on vacation right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so I do want to go live. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but if I do, it's either going to be here or it's going to be Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me on both platforms. That way, if I am able actually to go live, I would love to chit chat with you guys and just, you know, see what's going on. So one of the first items I want to talk about uh, is from Nomad Cosmetics. They have a new eyeshadow palette out and it is the Palette Royal Europe Palette. Now this palette looks really, really pretty. I love the packaging and the colors are really nice. Um, definitely more of a colorful palette. Now I do have one of their palettes. Um, I have this one, which I believe is like one of their first palettes. Um, it does come with a mirror inside, and these are the shades right here. They actually have really, really nice shadows. They are easy to blend. The colors are beautiful. Um, however, this is a colorful palette, and I do feel that I have palettes that are kind of covering that category for me, so I don't feel the need to jump right out and go buy this palette. Um, now maybe if I didn't have those palettes I would because like I said I love the quality of their shadows so that one's gonna be definitely a personal choice so this is $57 um, or you could get multi chrome singles for $12 each this is gonna be available on March 28th well we're already in April so don't worry about that um, you get 10 mattes and five multi chrome shadows they're so pretty now this is an indie brand, so it is going to seem a little on the pricey side, but guys, I think the quality is definitely worth it. And if this is your, if this is something that you have your eye on, I would say definitely pull that trigger and buy it because, like I've already said it twice, their shadows are great. So the next kind of like collection I want to talk about is actually supposed to be available at Walmart, um, and this is with. Wet n Wild. <laughs> this is the Wet n Wild and Sesame Street collection. Okay, now I loved Sesame Street. Okay, Oscar the Grouch. I, I loved his character and Snuffleupagus. Okay, they were like my two favorite characters. Loved them. Um, I even took like my son to go see uh, Sesame Street live. So it was like a big thing. Now, <laughs> when it comes to makeup. The packaging on this, while they have it spot on with like all the characters, I just feel like this is just baby makeup, like kid makeup. Oh here, take this palette and just play in it. Take this lipstick and just play in it. This is not something that I would personally see over here in my collection. Um, it has the Cookie Monster, that's so cute. The packaging is cute. It is cute, but like I said, I just feel like it is just way too babyish. Um, coming from a girl who's wearing a Sailor Moon t-shirt, yes. <laughs> uh, but everybody has a personal preference, and I just feel like this is just, I don't know. Maybe if it was done a little bit differently, like, okay, the banana powder with Big Bird on it, okay? That kind of makes sense to me. Um, but I don't know. I just, it's not for me. It's just not for me. All right, moving on. Makeup by Mario has like a new lip set out. This is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. A full coverage water infused liquid lip color that hydrates and visibly plumps with a weightless glossy feel in 13 shades for $24 each. I am actually dying to try these. Um, they have, he has some really nice shades in here that are just calling my name. Um, but 
there's one more item that is already in my basket at Sephora and I think I'm gonna go with those instead and it is the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. <sighs> These colors are so pretty. Like I said, I already have at least one in my cart and I I think I'm gonna get it today. <laughs> um, so these are inspired by the Soft Pink, Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. They wanted to create a lip product that could create the same flush of color for lips that liquid blushes create for cheeks. So it says, a lip oil with transformative texture. It goes on like a jelly, but transforms into a hydrating formula made with moisturizing jojoba seed and antioxidant rich sunflower seed. There are eight shades and they are $20 a piece. I love Rare Beauty. I think they have some amazing products. Um, I actually have one of her blushes. I love her blushes. I really want to try this lip oil. Um, I have, which one do I have? I actually think I have Happy in my cart as we speak. So really, really want to try it. And I will let you guys know when I do because this is going to be a must. For me. So Morphe, as despite all of their um, filing bankruptcy drama, has come out with a new palette. Uh, this is their Heat Seeker collection and it is $22. I actually think this is a really pretty palette. Um, you know, they do have like a lot of repeats when it comes to their palette, but the way that this palette is done, it gives me summer vibes with the peaches and the pinks and the oranges. So this is something that I think that I would actually reach for and grab in the summertime. Like this makes me happy and it makes me excited for the warmer weather. Um, so I could see myself purchasing this. And I'm going to definitely put this one in a category of maybe because I really wanted to see it in person first. But from these pictures, this is definitely, this is definitely interesting and right up my alley and something that I have not seen from Morphe uh, personally. So I, I think I'm going to get this one if, after I see it in person. And the last item I want to talk about is from Juvia's Place. They have new liquid blushes. Liquid blushes are definitely the thing. I am seeing them everywhere. Um, and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I do love a good powdered blush, but liquid blushes are easy to blend. And um, I don't know, I just, I love the way that they turned out as well. So like I said, I had a Rare Beauty liquid blush. Um, I love it, it's like a peachy color. Jivia's Place, I have loved their shadows. I really haven't tried anything else from them. I know they have like foundation. Um, so I would probably try and get at least one. Um, it looks like there are 12 different shades and they are $18 each, which is not bad because it goes a long way and it's gonna last you a little while. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, I would definitely want to go see them in person because for some reason I can never gauge in per I can never gauge online which color is going to suit me. I I'm definitely more of like I have to be in person and see it myself uh, in order to choose a shade. So uh, yeah, with that being said. Is there anything that we've talked about today that you guys are interested in? Let me know down in the comments below because I would love to know what do you have your eye on. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. And hopefully it is the new um, Ipsy Boxy Charm box. I did get an email that that will be coming my way shortly. They are running a little bit behind because, you know, they are starting from scratch a little bit. Uh, with the merger so hopefully next week's video will be my boxes and I cannot wait to see what we have I'm so excited Ugh. I actually got to pick uh, for my boxy charm um, my three options and um, I can't wait to show you guys what I chose so yeah <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video bye